Hello, welcome to the Global Markets Advisor. Today what I would like to discuss with you just for a few minutes is looking at the key success factors on doing business in China. Businesses in China diversify. The common Western reason for diversification is to have different income streams to help balance out the business fluctuations. This may be partially true in China. However, a bigger factor is, is about diversifying so that if one enterprise gets closed down or fails, then there will still be others generating income. And the next tip I'd like to suggest is that get the right people on the bus. Rely on staff who are directly employed by you, with whom you have regular, daily, hourly contact so that they can understand the business issues. And then reward these people directly as a direct linkage with the success of the business. Be sure to work on the business instead of in the business. In order to help with this, always create a business that can afford the right and top management. Next is be quick and agile. The risk of omission is far greater than the risk of commission. In being quick, you will need to create a learning environment and be able to learn how to accomplish tasks that may have never been accomplished before. Do things that cannot be easily copied. The more complicated something is, the more you need to bring together a range of hard and soft skills, the more likely you are to be able to keep your unique market position. And then be sure to partner with the right people. Make sure they are bigger than you and can influence bureaucracy. This type of partner will be able to watch your back and prevent smaller government bodies and the individuals therein from hurting your business. Be sure to take less ownership and exchange for strategic partnerships for financing and access. Make sure that your business has growth and scale potential. China can be cheap, but be sure to buy quality and put your money in the right places. So the question I have for you is if you are an American company or from the UK or the European Union, have you considered exporting your product or service to an emerging market like China? If you have, or if you haven't, don't let the grass grow under your feet any longer. I'd encourage you, start familiarizing yourself with these new economic powerhouses and think about the possibility of getting your business ready for international expansion. Think about developing what they call a BRIC strategy, Brazil, Russia, India, or China. I encourage you to investigate your opportunity. On the globalmarketsadvisor.com, there are a ream of um, emerging market uh, free downloadable PDFs that you can uh, download and just get a little bit of investigation into these, these countries and these opportunities. Another option is that you can join one of our market opportunity master classes in which we spend about, we have about 15 business owners that come together and spend a day and we analyze the markets and the opportunities that exist in the global arena for you. You can register your interest on the globalmarketsadvisor.com website. Within these masterclasses, we enable you to answer the following questions. How do you get started? What should you research first? Which market is the best fit for you? What will you need? What are your options? What skills and knowledge will you need to develop to be successful? And many more details. I would encourage you to think seriously about your global expansion possibilities. Thanks for tuning in to Global Markets Advisor.